let's get out of here. Let's transfer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, and there we go. Yeah, there's a lot of new monsters added to the game. Um, well, not monsters, but uniques. There's a lot of new early game uniques that, of course, I will not get to see on this run because they're early game enemies, you know? And I'm already super late into the game. Um, so, last time that we saw this character, I had a bunch of spells at level 1. A bunch of spells in different schools and a staff of conjuration. So, I think the next thing to do with this character after training uh, spell casting to 15 and evocations, probably to 15 as well, is going to be also training staves to 12 um, so I can melee with the staff of conjuration. Mm. That will not work against the Fire Dragon, but we have a spell for literally everything in this game. Literally everything. Fire Dragon? Um, we fear no Fire Dragon. Yep, Irradiate um, gets the job done. Yep, easy peasy. Zero, zero concerns or worries. The character is just in a really, really good spot right now. Um, I have I have a spell for every situation, so very happy with the current state of the character. Mm, yep, you see that. Uh, the Fire Dragon didn't get a chance. My Freezing Cloud deals 6 to 21. Hmm. Decent damage. There you go. Character dumped successfully. Mm. It's doing a little bit of everything. Um, a little bit of everything. I have Irradiate, I have Orb of Destruction, I have Freezing Vapor, I have LRD, I have um, a spell for every situation. A spell that kills things for every situation. That's how I like it. Spells that kill things. I feel like this character is very representative of my preferred playstyle when I'm playing Crawl. Just like have spells that you point at monsters and then the monsters die. Um, pretty good. Good spells. Mm. Okay. Mm, there we go. Better chill with the irradiating because I'm at the point with the, with the contamination where if I irradiated again I would get um, malmutated. And we don't want to get malmutated with this character. I have robust. I am a robust dogger, so I already like have obscene uh, amount of HP. Mm. Okay, I think the fire giant will actually not shoot at me because of the frost giant simulacrum. You hate that doggers are so unexpectedly easy to splat. Yeah, like the HP that they have is not so they tank like 20 million attacks. It's so you can you can afford to not get absolutely destroyed by um, by getting hit by like around one or two maximum damage rolls um, from enemies because it does happen quite a bit that uh, other species with less HP just die uh, from from getting hit for like a hundred damage, right? Um, in fact, I saw it happen earlier today. Someone in the in the crawl Discord put um, um, a death where they were at full HP with a Spriggan um, of Hep, so they had around cat HP. Um, and bodies hit them with a normal destruction that dealt three more than their maximum HP. They were at full HP and and bodies just killed the character <laughs> because because that's kind of ha what happens when you play something with such little HP. An ogre would be able to get hit by that and it would be bad. It would be bad, but you would not be immediately dead. Um, so so that's why I play ogre pretty much. Hello, Kali Commuter. Good to see you around. I think we're gonna be doing very well tonight. Yeah. Um. I would like to probably not be in the middle of nowhere uh, while marked. Mm, I'm not so far away from the stairs, but I think I'm going to hold my ground here. Yeah, and by that I mean try to reposition. That's a shame. I already got hit for a lot by that ogre, but I am regening three per turn, or by that a stone giant, sorry, not an ogre. It would be funny if there was a late game ogre um, thrower unique that threw rocks but dealt way more damage than stone giant. Um, 
Oh, that's a, a gate to Pan. We don't want to do anything with Pan uh, for a couple of uh, months. I already did my first share of Pandemonium in the tournament. Yeah, I very rarely play Extended um, ex outside of the tournament. In, in the tournament I do play a bit of Extended, but it's because it's a tournament and like part of the tournament objectives are uh, exploring all the branches and, you know, 15 rune games and other wacky things. Uh, I didn't do a 15 rune game in the tournament, now that I, meant, now that I think about it. Um, I did do... Um, I did do Tomb, but I didn't do 15 runes. The way that I did it was 14 runes, and then I did a character specifically for doing Tomb, where I got a uh, Bow of Courage 3. It was pretty nice. Hello, Syndragor. Good to see you around. Thank you for stopping by. Have you seen the new changes to Trunk? Now, um, Long Blades scale with Dexterity instead of Strength, and also... Um, Mm -mm -mm -mm. Also the the launcher changes. Yeah, I'll try that tonight. The launcher changes. As I mentioned, um, as I mentioned yesterday, I just like didn't keep in mind the launcher changes. Otherwise, I would have gone with a launcher character for my first character of 0 0.29. You totally missed the news. Deep of Hunter? Probably not Deep of Hunter. That sounds pretty miserable, because you're a Deep of without spells. Uh, but maybe something along the lines of... Ooh, I have Yellow Contamination. Mm, I'm gonna drink Cancellation, but not mid-fight. Mm, better get rid of these guys first, and then drink Cancellation. Aha, there we go. Mm, 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 mm. You can wear armor with launchers, you're gonna have spells. Uh, but you don't start with spells, uh, that's the issue. I would start something along the lines of... Um, mm, I don't want to start Cobalt, because I think like Cobalt's reduced line of sight makes it trash for you to use a launcher. It's funny because they have plus three crossbows, but they're still like not very good um, because of that. Oh, wait, there's Crystal. And where there's Crystal, there's good LRDs. So let's do exactly that. Oh, I killed the I killed the clones, but I didn't kill the real Rakshasa. That's unlucky. Hmm. Sprig and Serker. Okay, for Sprig and Serker we have clouds. Aha, uh -huh. and we also have LRD, and we also have Irradiate. Man, I love spells that don't check accuracy. They're the greatest thing in the game. I wish more things didn't check accuracy. Accuracy checks are absolute BS. But what, wait, there was ammo change? Yes, there's no more ammo. Uh, launchers got nerfed a bit in their base damage, but only a bit. Um, the most impactful change to launchers is the fact that now, if you wear heavy armor while using a launcher, the launcher is slowed. So, like, you can use it as your weapon for the entirety of the game, but you cannot just wear plate and, and use a launcher at the same time. Um, uh, that's not going to go very well for you. I don't know if training armor can reduce that uh, chance of of just um, or, or if if it reduces the penalty. I don't know if it reduces the penalty. You've been waiting for ammo removal for years. Yeah, it's fi it finally happened. Did you see my Lord of Darkness three run in the tournament? I literally was like unable to use my main weapon, which was the um, the triple or it was not a triple crossbow. It was a, a Narvalist of Holy Wrath. Uh, fully enchanted. I wasn't able to use it for the vast majority of Pandemonium because I had no bolts. Um, so I had to pick up and use a, a Great Maze of Holy Wrath that the game generously provided in order to be able to play the game. It was pretty bad. Um, but it was not as bad as how it ended, you know? That was that was definitely the worst thing. Um, I cannot believe that mutation that killed me is still in the game. I feel like you can... Um, you can survive many mutations, or like rather, most mutations don't immediately end the game for you, but that one definitely does, the minus scroll mutation. Hmm. That's a pretty interesting amulet. Three pips of resistance to negative. It's a shame that it doesn't compete with my amulet. My amulet is like once in a million amulet. It's so good. It's incredibly good. Um... You start with a bow and infinite ammo who needs the starting spells? 
Maybe deep off could be okay. Why do the why do the species with the most aptitude for launchers now are minus two HP? Yo, I hadn't thought about that, but deep off and Cobalt are both minus two HP. Mm, that's so awful. Mm. Giant Con 2022 over here. Uh, I'm not gonna be using that amulet. It's in, it's pretty good. It's not incredible. It's pretty good, but uh, I have something that's legit incredible. It's hard. It's hard for uh, for anything that the game can provide me at this point to compete with with what I already have. Uh, so so there's that. Okay. Ooh, look at that rapier. That's pretty spicy. Plus eleven. Um, it doesn't have poison resistance, however. So goodbye, Tengu River. Man, I love having uh, poisonous vapors and ignite poison. It's it kills things so easily, so painlessly. Um, I'm not gonna use this demon trident because I have minus six slaying. This character feels very strong. It feels so strong. It's gonna be one of the my best characters ever with twelve armor class. <laughs> Yeah, I like having characters like these that are um, that that just have like a ton of armor class, a ton of HP and very little armor class. I very much prefer that than the alternative. The alternative is gargoyle, where you have a ton of armor class but you have very little HP. So on a bad roll you still get dumpsters. Uh, with ogre that kind of thing legit doesn't happen. On a bad roll you still have a chance. Um, so yeah. But I guess that's kind of a thing that a new player will not really realize, and it's something that a more experienced player will probably take better advantage of. You would not consider Cabal as a good ranged species, even though he has positive HP aptitude. Night Soccer is extremely under synergistic with launchers. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. Um, exactly in the same boat. The minus, um, the minus line of sight is pretty bad. Oh, I should play a Baraki. Yeah, I was thinking about what I was going to play. Let's play a Baraki. That sounds right to me. Um, no need for me to play a... Hmm, something hits me? This must be a Bumper Knight or something. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I don't know what, what was hitting me. Oh, I mean, I still don't know what's hitting me. Am I even hitting things with Irradiate? What's going on? What's actually hitting me? Hmm. Am I getting hit by an Unseen Horror? No way it's an Unseen Horror. It's hitting me... Maybe it is an Unseen Horror. Do the Vampire Mages blink? Or do the Vampire Knights blink? They do, so it probably blink outside and it's what's hitting me. Huh. Well, I am at half HP, so obviously I have to wail. Mm -hmm. But it, it really does feel like an Unseen Horror with how it's moving so erratically. Um, yeah, no idea. Let's just leave. It is a Vampire Knight. It is 100% a Vampire Knight. Okay, what do we have for the Vampire Knight? Mm, not a lot. Yeah, it happens to be a very good counter to what I have. If I had gone for necromancy, uh, which I didn't, like I think the ship has already set sail on on training funny things. Um, if I had gone for necromancy, I would be able to zombie hands, and I would be able to um, uh, um, I would be able to dispel on that on zombie hands. Yeah. Okay, so we're just waiting for the teleport now. There it is. Um, I should maybe read magic mapping. Hurl and non a orb of destruction is way. Mm, it was invisible, so like orb of destruction is pretty bad when you're using it to target uh, an invisible mon monster that you cannot see, because it will just go to the position that you select, and if the invisible monster moves, which I guess monsters tend to move a fair amount, uh, yeah, it's not gonna be good. Yeah, my character is definitely. Um, Jack of all trades, master of none. That's a be that's a very good way to describe what the character turned into. It's just a bunch of spells that I like to use. Uh, in fact, talking about spells that I like to use, Noxious Bog, Ignite Poison, Kill the Quicksilver Dragon. Uh -huh. I don't even need to attack you, you're just gonna die next turn. There you go. Mm, there's a knob hatch, but I'm not gonna take that. Um, 
I got shafted into Depths 4, which would have been dangerous. I guess I should be grateful that the game didn't just kill me or put me in a vault with the Draconians. That would have been a severe issue. Um, yeah, my character has incredible... Um, Incredible regen, courtesy of the Moon Troll Letter. Uh, I was using normal letter before finding the Moon Troll Letter, uh, so so it was an easy upgrade. Mm. Okay, I should have shot Orbs of Destruction at the Iron Dragon. Uh huh. That's actually my highest level spell, the Orb of Destruction. Um, I picked it up because it's a good enough spell to 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 win the game with. It doesn't check evasion. It's uh, fantastic for orbs of the, uh, for orbs of fire. Really, really good for orbs of fire, mm. and it just deals too much damage. So it's also really, really good against anything that has high amounts of um, of armor class. Mm. I do wish that I had a melee. Yeah, because I don't have that. I've been thinking about picking it up with this character um, probably soon. Okay, the Frost Giant is probably going to be completely unscathed after walking through the clouds of freezing vapor. Mm. Um, okay, alright, there we go. The Enchantress has plus 4 fairy scales with 6 intelligence and 5 dexterity. Those are pretty good, you know? Pretty good, um... Pretty good fairy scales. If I didn't already have Moon Troll Letter, I would probably be using the Enchantress fairy scales. Um, she doesn't have poison resistance, so there you go. <laughs> that was so fast. Um, notice the Enchantress killed the Enchantress. Two turns. Two turns. So easy. Mm, you love to see it. I love to have um, characters that can deal with the Enchantress like that. Because it's a pretty good indicator of a character that doesn't need to rely on the RNG to actually deal damage. And since ba the vast majority of the game is you dealing damage to monsters, it's a character that doesn't need to rely on the RNG for the vast, major for the vast majority of the game. Um, I enjoy that very much. Mm -hmm. That's my preferred playstyle. Mm, Luis with a plus 6 evening star of protection. Um, I have all the willpower, so Luis poses absolutely no threat, and so I can probably kill her with LRD. Um, maybe not, because she does have armor. Um, maybe what I should do is just go for the good old um, poisonous vapors, ignite poison. Mm. You think her armor is better than Moon Troll Letter? Oh, the... Um, yeah, the, the the thingy from the Enchantress. Mm. Mm, let's see. Uh, six intelligence, five dexterity, hmm. versus double regen and five mana. See, here's what I was thinking of doing. I was thinking of going for um for statue form with this character. The one two is a statue form for fighting, and then once I'm done fighting, ca uh, on statue form and go for orb or go for the region. That was the plan originally, and I may still do it. I still uh, only have one rune, I think, so I still have a fair amount of experience to collect from from the game. Um, and it's not like it would require me a lot of training. In fact, I think I could just pick up statue form immediately because I already have 12 transmutations and 10 earth magic. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. A statue form also doesn't melt my like uh, important things. Hmm. Okay, I uh, I'm not particularly afraid of Shtawa, but I feel like I shouldn't take. Uh, a fight with Shtawa, like, um, completely carelessly. I'm gonna wait for Shtawa to come over here. We're gonna do that. We are gonna do this, and this, and this, and this. And Shtawa is almost dead. Freezing vapors. There you go, easy peasy. No scales, unfortunately. Um, it's not like, not like, not like it really matters. Like, I don't think I would really use them. Um, 37, okay. 
interesting for me to get hurt uh, that much even with um, with my very good resistances. But I guess that goes to show that um, armor class is also important to have. Okay, Mr. Shifter, you die to that. So there you go. Regen is great for actual armor class evasion and intelligence boost are even better. I would try it on, but it has it has drain. Um, I guess I can pick it up. Yeah, I guess I can pick it up and inspect it. Uh, your armor class would increase by 2, so it goes from 12 to 14. I don't think I have any armor skill. If I trained a bit of armor, it would be like um, a noticeable boost. More than only 2 skill. Hmm... New drain doesn't matter that much. Yeah, like, um, I still don't know if I want to try it on. But I guess I can pick it up and, like, carry it with me for the rest of the game. Because after all, it is fancy, um, fancy scales, um, fairy scales. They very rarely generate as good as these. So why not carry them around? Um,. I have so much regen with this character. I have almost three regen per turn. It's uh, very good. Very pleasant indeed. Mm. Okay. Yeah, when I start when I ended the stream yesterday, what I thought was gonna happen when I started the stream today was that I was gonna completely forget what I was doing with this character, and I was gonna take like my first fight, and I was gonna die because I forgot that I had like a bunch of resources and options. Um, it almost happened. <laughs> so yeah, that's not very good. Uh, Nero appears from out of thin air. Okay, so that guy has a bow. Wow, that's so annoying. Invisible dude hasted shooting you with a bow. Couldn't be any more aggravating if it tried to be. Um, it's also an undead, so I cannot target it with poisonous vapors. I think it flies? Do you fly? You don't fly, so at least you can eat a noxious bug, but doesn't do a lot against a vampire, unfortunately. And you already sidestepped it. Okay. Uh, you destroy the vampire knight, and let's inspect its uh, short bow. Uh, base damage 9, base attack delay 1.5, this weapon's minimum attack delay is 0.7 and has reached a skill level 16. Heavy armor slows attacks with this, currently only slightly by the plus 4 moon troll leather armor. Uh -huh. I think that's the thing with all your games, if you don't finish them with one sitting you lose all contacts and sometimes that kills your characters. Same happens to me. Um, it is important for me to quickly remember what I was doing with the character as I start uh, a new play session. Um, I feel like if I finished my characters in a single go, uh, I would have a better win rate, but that's not really possible. Yeah, finishing characters in one sitting um, takes more than four hours, and I'm willing to do that during the tournament, but outside of the tournament, I don't know if I really want to do it. Um, yeah, and of course, as I always mention with mages, mages just take more time uh, by nature of being mages. You have many different choices and options of uh, things to do that are not melee, so you um, take more time per encounter. It's not just mashing tab and, and things, uh, so they take longer. Mm -hmm. Okay, this ring of intelligence shall be put on the floor, because I am already carrying something better. Oh, by the way, if I wanted to wear something like armor, I would be wearing these. These are incredible. Like, they are a game winner on some characters. Um, unfortunately, my character could not be any further from the kind of character that wants to use that. I'm, um, I'm casting level 7 spells over here. Not casting, um, not casting Taff. Um, yeah, those are really, really good. I found them in Elf. By that time, by the time when I found them, I was already committed to what I'm currently doing. So, so there's that. Um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. 
A kind of armor that I would have loved to find in my Lord of Darkness 3 attempts, uh, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah. They even have slaying, like, they couldn't be any more perfect. Um, well, I guess they could be. They could not have the minus dexterity, but I, I feel like that's too much to ask for. Um, oh, I have Noxious Bog. I tend to forget that I have Noxious Bog, but it's perfect for dealing with a bunch of guys over here. Um, it kills so many things. Mm. Yeah, take a look at that Fire Giant. I'm not gonna ignite poison. It's just gonna die from the bog. Oh, it did the forbidden technique of breaking my line of sight from the fog to re or from the noxious bog to remove it. Man, that that uh, Fire Giant has some uh, advanced um, advanced techniques for dealing with bog users. Mm. I wish Monster Bog also worked like that. But at least you can do it against monsters that mesmerize you. Um, okay, for Sprigans it's just as easy as Poisonous Vapors, Poisonous Vapors, Ignite Poison, and that also works with some other monsters. Uh, oh, that bolt has the Ring of the Mage. That bolt is guaranteed to, play, to place the Ring of the Mage, yeah. I don't know if I want that. Hmm, it's an enhancer for everything. It's probably better than nine mana. Um, it's probably better than nine mana. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll grab it just because it's incredible. Um, if it's only because it's incredible. If it wasn't incredible, I wouldn't grab it. Okay, we have LRD. We have LRD, and so we can do that. Mm -hmm. For the lich, uh, well, it's easy for me to kill it. Yeah, I'm not afraid of the lich. Orb of destruction. Mm. Maybe I could even get it to to be hit by LRD from this statue. Um, okay, killing multiple birds with one stone. Nice. Uh, so give me that. I earned this. Um, goodbye. Four strength and nine mana. Hello, ring of the mage. And now everything is even more enhanced, because the vast majority of my spells uh, are conjurations I'm using as staff, so... Well, I don't need the wizardry from the Ring of the Mage, but the Archmagy is nice. Oh, I also... I guess the wizardry could be okay. Um, where's my statue form? It should be higher up, because I can definitely cast it. Or maybe I don't have it. Maybe... I think I have it in a shop. I think I have it in a shop. Mm. There it is. Okay, let's learn that. Um, Archmagy equals more power. Yeah, it's a spell enhancer for everything. Um, for every spell now becomes more powerful. Um, you see how there's a bunch of 100% and stuff like that. If I take off the Archmagy, it's gonna go down a bit. Um, yep. Um, well, I guess it, I still have a bunch of 100%, but it's more noticeable on spells like Irradiate or, um, I guess, Orb of Destruction. Um, let's, put it, let's put it back on. Mm -hmm. Three dice of 37. I think I, I gained a ton of damage on Irradiate. And also in Orb of Destruction, it was 9 dice of 15 and now it's 9 dice of 17. So the damage uh, increase is actually kind of noticeable. It's, it's get, it gets better with more intelligence. If you have a ton of intelligence, Archmagy does more. If you don't have that much intelligence, Archmagy is kind of whack. You have level 9s? <laughs> yes, I could, I could go for level 9s. Uh, I have level 9s indeed. Could go for um, Polar Vortex, but or Clyde or Firestorm. I could definitely do that. Dude, you know what? I really should do it. I really should do it. Um, I really should do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Like, you convinced me, Sindragor. I needed that. Um, I guess we're just gonna be training for... Um, Air Magic and Conjurations. We can train... like. Considering that we just got the Ring of the Mage, we could cast those with like 20 spellcasting conjurations or magic. So it's not even that expensive. Um, man, this is gonna be the best robust ogre with uh, with chain lightning ever. It's gonna be so good. 
And that spell just kills everything. It legit kills everything. You don't need to do anything other than put it on the quiver and mash it and everything dies. I think it even kills electric golems. Um, I bet there's better options for electric golems like Irradiate, but it kills electric golems, it kills orbs of fire, it kills so many things. It's such a such a nice spell. Um, so Conjurations are magic. Um, we shall train those to 20. 20. And then I'll train 20 spell casting, and after that I think I'm just gonna train fighting for the rest of the game. Mm. Ooh, Walking Earth and Tome. You know, I think you really should be able to LRD these. Uh, all of them, I think you should be able to LRD them, the Tomes. They seem very stony to me. Mm. Well, um, I think I'm just going to wait for the Ice Dragon to come around the corner and irradiate it. Now for the Shaman, good old Poisonous Vapors. It's not my fault that Poisonous Vapors is so good, you know? Um, I only use it because it's fantastic. If it was not this good, I would probably not be using it in depth. Uh, well, I guess it's the combination of Poisonous Vapors and Ignite Poison that allows me to to get away with um, with doing this. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Hmm. I was kind of hoping for that to kill. Well, I guess I can just kite it around until I have 7 mana and then try again. And there you go. Okay, I have a ton of willpower, so that doesn't make me afraid. Mm. The guy hits really hard, however. Yeah, 21, 32, 29. Better blink away, cast this. The spells will try to cast themselves at me, so they will not block the um, the path. And they, the Earthen Tomes specifically really spam the Petrify. They definitely do. Um, not afraid of this Caustic Strike. Yeah, um, uh -huh. it does have fire resistance, so I cannot just immediately go for the Ignite Poison and expect it to actually kill the Shrike, uh, but if I soften it up a bit, it does the job very well. Mm -hmm. mm, if only I could cast Noxious Bog in this corridor, or if only I had Chain Lightning already. 80%. I, I am going to do it. I wonder how fast I'm going to get to it. In fact, I probably should be focusing Earth Magic. Maybe I should just only be training Earth Magic. Maybe by the time I have 15 Earth Magic, I'm going to be able to cast it, because 41 Intelligence, almost no hindrance in my um, in my armor, and also um, Archmagi, well, Archmagi, Wizardry, and Behumet, right? Uh, so I think I have uh, everything to, to do this. I have, like, everything available to me. Mm. My character doesn't have a good way to kill that thing. It's too far away. It's not next to a wall. Uh, I don't have her strike. Kind of a slight weakness of the character. Mm. But only very slight weakness of the character. Nothing too remarkable. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Um... I have the box that this effect, and it uh, hurt me. Hmm, interesting. Well, I am kind of afraid of the current situation. I don't like it very much. Uh, I still think I'm fine to continue walking away. Let's see what happens. Okay, now I'm going to not walk away anymore, and I'm going to start blinking away. I wanted to be in a position where I could uh, just blink past, but it's not going to happen. I bit off more than I could chew here. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's mostly the um, the flayed ghost over there. And it has oh, it doesn't have any armor class. Maybe LRD could kill it. How much damage does it deal? Three dice of twenty six. Do you think it kills the the um, the thingy? I don't think so. I'm just gonna play it safe and uh, maybe I could cancel out of the flay. Yeah, we could probably do that. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That's fine. Good stuff. Uh, now I can use File of Lots here. Not play poorly. Mm -hmm. Now you cannot cast the spells, and so you are significantly less dangerous than you were before. Uh, summoned. Who summoned you? Hmm. You had a, um, a scroll of summoning. Sneaky, sneaky dude with summoning. Mm, this should be fine now. Yeah. That was just... Um, 
sketchy for no reason. There was no need for me to be so afraid in that fight. Um, it's, it was just that I, like, I feel like I wasted a ton of turns there. Uh, doing things that I maybe shouldn't have been doing. Mm, also, I didn't notice the scroll summoning. Okay. Uh, what about this? There we go. Let's do it again. Mm. It missed the guy. Um, that's unfortunate. Okay. There we go. Oh, you know something that I don't like about Muntro Letter? The fact that it has Guardian Spirit. I really wish it didn't have Guardian Spirit. I kind of hate it. Mm. Uh, just out of curiosity. Yeah. 34, 8, 16, 335 HP. Uh, experience level 20, 23 too. I feel uh, incredible uh, with this character in statue form. Like, look at that. That's just crazy. I don't lose anything. Uh, because nothing that gives me resistances gets melded. Um, the only thing that I lose is the region from from the moon throw letter. And that's by design. Like, I'm completely okay with losing that. Mm. So, yeah. Definitely going to be a nice thing for me to have. It's not going to be good for Sot. Definitely not. But for Sot, hopefully we will have Chain Lightning. It's already at 75%. Uh, and I haven't really trained a lot of her magic. So, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Oh, uh, what happens if I take off the Tower Shield? Mm, 43. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. We shall keep that in mind. But for now, let's just continue using the Tower Shield. And I guess it's time to face my fears and go to Slime. Yep, Slime as rune number two, because we don't like um, spiders. Spiders are bad. Mm. Alright, now for the shining eye on the screen right now, what do we do? Step here. Step here. Uh, maybe step over here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Hmm... LRD? I think it's next to that wall still. So I can LRD twice and hopefully kill it. Yep, there we go. Advanced uh, advanced place right there. Mm, now, uh, I just got corroded. I'm gonna play it safe and just bail until I don't have corrosion anymore. And then we can just like stir dance these guys. Radiate them a bit. Um, poke it with the staff with zero skill in stapes. Um, I have enough conjurations and evocations to make it deal damage, however, so that's nice. Okay, Noxious Vogue, Ignite Poison, mm, ign uh, Irradiate, Irradiate, mm, Ignite Poison. Oh, it didn't die, nice! Oh, it split off! Okay, that's uh, very convenient. Yeah, Noxious Vogue is really good for this place. It uh, absolutely dumpsters these guys. Hmm, it's fumbling? Seriously? Hmm. Interesting that it makes me fumble. Um, oh, nice. Uh, teleport trap. Put me in a rather uncomfortable spot, but nothing that we cannot deal with. Yep, easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's so good to have Behumet. It's like I press the Ignite Poison button and and my mana goes back to full. It's crazy good. <laughs> MP Restore 33. Yeah, I love uh, I love Behumet. Mm. Oh, also the um, the Rock Slimes are very resistant to fire, but they're not very resistant to. Um, to poison. Noxious Bog is really good for dealing with them. I want to go back to the entrance, of course. I want to play it safe and be close to the entrance. So I guess I'm going to have to deal with all these uh, slimes while I make my way back to the entrance. Uh, what happens if I statue form? Just out of sheer curiosity. Mm, well, I take less damage, so I think statue form is probably a good thing to have. Mm. What is the way back up. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I guess uh, I'll have to make my way back up uh, from the lower level. 
He's got nerf Behumet and buffs if Muna. Yeah, that's that's definitely uh, a possibility. Behumet is so much better than Sif. Definitely. Yeah, it's crazy to me that with Behumet existing, people still play Sif Muna. That blows my mind. I'll never understand it. Hmm. Well, I guess I am just gonna continue delving. I wanted to see how to get out, but the game was like, no, you're not gonna get out. You're gonna be here forever, so I guess I better embrace that. Mm. The only thing that's annoying is the golden eyes. Yeah, I have one attraction, so I'm not gonna use it. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of the golden eyes. Mm. No idea. Grass Grillbird? He never explains what he loves about Thief. Uh, he's told me before. Um, he's told us in the stream before. Mm, he likes the fact that um, Sif Muna will eventually give you all the spells, which is not something that I understand very much because Sif Muna only starts giving you spells at a later stage of the game where your character is already like kinda defined. Uh, so you very much don't need to get spells at that point in the game. Um, I, that's exactly like why I like Behumet. Behumet gives you spells at a point in the game where you very much need spells and variety and something to do uh, to make your character better. Um, Sifmuna doesn't do that. Sifmuna gives you mana, uh, but Behumet also gives you mana and it's more like um, proactive at giving you mana than, than Sifmuna in my opinion. Yeah, um, Sifmuna gives you mana, but you need to channel it. And Behumet just gives you mana for killing things. Yeah, you can use a spell and you can be the next turn left with more mana than you started uh, the previous turn. And that's a pretty good thing, in my opinion. Without having to spend a turn, you, you, you can just focus on fighting. Mm, Behumet takes care of all of that for you. Mm. When it comes to exegesis, I feel like Behumet just does it better by letting you cast the spells yourself without having to rely on, on very scarce piety. Um, and uh, having to train invocations, yeah, and um, and the amnesia thing is more like flavor text for for Sif Muna. Mm -hmm. I would like to see Sif Muna buffs before Behumet nerfs because I think that Behumet is in a pretty good spot. Um, I don't think Behumet is broken by any means. It's just that Behumet is straight up better than Sif Muna. Um, hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna have to LRD the Shining Eye. It works very well. Now, I made a ton of noise, so fingers crossed for not aggravating the Royal Jelly with that. In fact, I probably should start running for my life. Um, you are not focused on me, right? You're not focused on me, so I can easily go upstairs. Without having to fear getting paralyzed and therefore instantly killed. Um... Okay. Mm, killing things with my staff of conjuration with zero stapes skill. Mm, I guess when it comes to the stapes, it's probably like um, like with dragon form. The way that I recommend people to train for dragon form is first get dragon form usable, then get manifold, and then after that you can start training for an armed combat. Because dragon form by itself already deals enough damage, so you don't really need to have crazy unarmed combat before starting to use dragon form. Um, but certainly it does help to have crazy unarmed combat. Maybe it's the same for the, for the enhancer tapes. You'd say that um, Behumet and Sif are both good, but the fact that Sif requires him but training turns the skills in Behumet's favor. Oh, nice, I resisted the mutation because I have the Hall of the Alchemist. That was um, mildly convenient. Yep, not a very influential factor in my liking of uh, the Hall of the Alchemist, but I'm also not going to say no to it, it's literally free. And yeah, like, having to train invocations diverts some um, time or some experience from your training of the things that you use to kill things. So I don't like it very much. Um, I don't like that very much. Hmm. I wonder if I, at some point I should learn Chain Lightning. I also wonder if I should Amnesia something for Chain Lightning. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I would Amnesia. Probably Freezing Cloud. Hmm. It's been good, but I feel like... Uh, like, it's time is already about to end. Mm. 
So now that um, now that launchers scale with dexterity, do they scale with dexterity? I think they do. Oh man, that orb of destruction is trying to kill me. Oh man, that all that orb of destruction almost killed me. Stop that, dude! It's doing crazy things. Do you see it? <laughs> That was a scary. Now, mildly scary. I would rather not be in the receiving end of that. Please stop that. Alright. Mm, there we go. That was interesting, how I almost died uh, to my own Orb of Destruction. Would have killed me, but it would have dealt a ton of damage. Yeah. I think they can... My Orbs of Destruction can already deal more than 150 damage. So that's quite a lot. And here we see a longbow. Oh, they got nerfed even more. They dealt 14 uh, when I saw them yesterday, but now they deal 13. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, so yeah, as I suspected, bows and all launchers are kind of becoming um, slings. In the sense that slings are okay. They don't deal that much damage, but like you're never going to run out of ammunition for a sling. Um, and it seems that all, bow, all all launchers are now that, or at least longbow is. Longbow used to be so broken. Um, I guess it's understandable that it's uh, not so broken anymore. I shouldn't jump into that teleport trap. Definitely shouldn't do that. It's nice to have so much um, so much willpower so that these guys don't have even the slightest amount of uh, possibility to destroy you um, for no good reason. Mm. It's a shame that it takes so much willpower to guarantee that you're not gonna die to a hex. I feel like it should take slightly less willpower. Um, for monsters, it's easy for them to trivialize your hexes, but for a player, it's very difficult to do the same. Um, okay, Noxious Bog. Mm, wonder if I should Immolation. Wonder if I should Immolation. Definitely shouldn't Torment. I don't even carry Torment. I have a scroll of torment on the floor in depths, but I didn't. I didn't use it. Um, okay, let's do this again. But now we're gonna cast. It. We're gonna use immolation this time around. Uh huh. Looking pretty good. Explosions soon. Explosions now. Okay, I think that killed the royal jelly. I have incredible fire resistance, so that doesn't do anything to me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, Noxious Bog is so good at dealing with slime. It kills everything. Did you see that? I killed all the slimes. Um, they're poison resistant, they're not immune. So all the slimes just got dumpstered by a single cast of Noxious Bog. Um,. Uh, followed up by some uh, scroll of immolation and a teeny tiny bit of ignite poison. Um, I probably wouldn't try this without the ignite poison, but ignite poison makes it um, makes it very strong. Hmm. I was thinking of putting on that ring of buff hero. Hmm. I might do it still. I might do it still. Maybe when I have uh, chain lightning, so I can go do. Um, Hmm, never mind, I'm not gonna put on the Ring of Buff Hero anymore. Um, because what I just found is slightly better than the Ring of Buff Hero. So we are gonna drop that. We're gonna drop that. Bad for mages, but good for launchers. Um, dexterity. Manual shields. Okay. Okay, that's a pretty good thing to have. Um, double protection. You know, I was hoping for protection for a while because, like, pretty much ever since I got the Hat of the Alchemist, because the Hat of the Alchemist allows me to wear double protection because I don't have to care about um, what protections, what resistances my my rings provide. Uh, and they only just came to me, their protections, after I found two rings that I probably will not be taking off for the entirety of the game. 
read above. Um, read above. Hmm. Behemoth and Sif are both good, but the fact that Sif requires input training turns the scales in Behemoth's favor. Still bad for mages, but good for launchers now. That's uh, the two messages that I have. Maybe one of your messages was not sent. Um, it tends to happen with Twitch. Twi Twitch is sometimes very janky like that. I have had it happen in the past. Mm. Okay, well, I am going to go do... Oh, with Infinite Mammal, it's finally time to place Feta as Rangers. It was thought that all of their powers tailored towards Ranger characters, Feta's was still pretty bad for both launcher users and mages. So, well, Texas, sorry, everyone. Ah, it's fine, don't worry about it. I don't think anyone minds. Um, I'll give that a try. I've, no, I've never, like, seriously tried to play Feta's. Only played very slight uh, amounts of Feta's. Um, pretty much only for the formality of getting polytheist. It's not uh, particularly a god that I've ever been interested in. So it's going to be nice to actually give it a try uh, for once. What made it bad for launchers before? Yeah, I, I want to know that. You probably know more than I do about that. So I'm definitely interested in reading that. Um... We are going to go do... Hmm, I can go do Bolt 5. Yeah, in fact, like, Bolt 5 is a teeny tiny bit of uh, of free piety. Um, hmm, I am trapped. I am trapped. I'm gonna re-teleport. I have 14 of them. Hey, it landed me exactly where I wanted to land. That's pretty nice. So we're gonna do Bolt 4, or Bolt 5 as I mentioned, at least only the entrance of Bolt 5. Um, being the, this kind of character with Noxious Bog, um, I can just cast, go down, cast Noxious Bog, wait a turn and then cast Ignite Poison and that's gonna kill everyone. Um, I could also drink Attraction to pull Wardens that trap me in and kill them exactly in the same way. Feras is a cool god? Mm, yeah, I feel like Feras has too many abilities. Uh, that I don't really, like, use very much. It's not like Nemelex. I feel like with Nemelex I have a very good understanding of all the things that Nemelex does and when to use those things. And that, in turn, makes Nemelex a very powerful god for me. Uh, but with Fedas, like, Fedas also has a ton of things and I don't know when to use those things. Hmm... Yeah, like, what is a good fight to use a Noclobon and that kind of thing? But with Nemelex, it doesn't cost any piety to just draw a deck of summoning and get very powerful summons that will very frequently just win the fight for you. Um, you know, so so there's that. But I guess we'll find out uh, about Fedas in my future character. Um, why is there a Shining Eye over there? Shapeshifters are nasty. Oh, I forgot that. Now, when you cast Noxious Bog, it replaces the stairs. Well, I guess we're trapped in here now. Um, I wonder if that was a, a, a nerf to Noxious Bog, like an intentional nerf to going down here with Noxious Bog, waiting a turn, and then just doing Ignite Poison. Yeah, just take a look at that. All the bold guards died. Well, except for the ones that were not uh, standing on the Noxious Bog. Mm, man, I love this spell. This spell is so good. Maybe I should do this. Oh, there's a warden at the edge of the screen now. So that means drink attraction, cast a statue form, irradiates, irradiates, uh, storm color title. Um, chain lightning is at 45%. Still not very good, or still not not good enough. I mean, hmm. Hmm. I don't like this. This looks kind of dangerous. Definitely looks kind of dangerous. But I have um, statue form, so it's fine. Okay. You feel like the bolt guards aren't often the problem, and sometimes they're good blockers for serious ranged attackers. Um, that's right. Like the bolt wards are um, whatever. They're free experience, pretty much. In fact, I came down here precisely to reap the free experience that are the bolt guards. The real danger is that uh, 
that dread leech and that uh, bold warden are just like chilling outside of the screen, ready to walk in line of sight after you kill all the vault guards and trap you in, and then you're in trouble. Um, that's the real danger of Vault 5. If you have a character that cannot deal with that, you probably shouldn't be doing Bolt 5. Um, but I feel like this character dealt with that very well. In fact, I trap myself in Bolt 5 because um, because Noxious Bug traps you in, so... Uh, that went well enough. And now I don't need to do the rest of that. I only did that for the experience of killing the Bolt Guards. Um, I feel like it went very well. Okay, what happens if I take off the, um, the Tower Shield now? 19% chance to miscast Chain Lightning. It's definitely looking like it's gonna be doable. Definitely looking like that. Um, let's go find Amnesia. I don't know what I would forget about for... for statue form. Maybe I should train more spellcasting instead of... But I want to learn it immediately. I can't forget about something and then relearn it later on. Hmm. Or maybe Orb of Destruction. Yeah, talking about Orb of Destruction, that would have been a pretty good spell for starting the fight with the Royal Jelly. You shoot an Orb of Destruction and it have it like deal 40% damage and then Noxious Bug and Immolation and all that thing. Um, but uh, it was not necessary. I still won the fight anyway. Chain Lightning. Um, Chain Lightning should be placed in, an, in another spell slot. Um, I, it can be capital L for Chain Lightning. Normally capital L is for mommy form, but I don't have any plans to get mommy form with this character. Bolt 5 emulations are at most popular for a while, but then people realize bolt guards are the least scary bolt 5 dollars. Yeah, I feel like that was the moment where the vast majority of people realized that the bolt guards are more... Are they kind of... They're kind of like fountains. They're not really dangerous. They're like only to... Um, embellish Bolt 5, I guess, is a good way to put it. Um, the real danger is the other monsters in Bolt 5. You're playing a Demon Spawn and you got the new Demonic Touch Mutation. It says that it gives your offhand attacks a chance to do irresistible damage. But if you have no offhand attacks... Um, you have offhand attacks if you are not using a, a two-handed weapon or a shield. And I don't know if it needs an armed combat. Yeah, offhand attacks are very obscure like that. I just pretend that like, that they don't exist um, pretty much. Mm. So, let us go do... Well, I guess I could do Crypt. <laughs> like mutation then. Body mutations are lame. Like, from all the mutation set that you can get being a, a demon spawn, the body mutation is usually the lamest one. Mm. Yeah, you sh like if you get it early, it's very rarely going to be like um, a game changer for you to have that. Uh, very rarely. Mm. If it's close, it is legit a game changer if you find it early because you are kind of incentivized to become an unarmed combat character at that point. Um, but with the other ones, you can just ignore them. It will prevent you from wearing gloves at level 3. Yeah, but like... It may seem bad for you, but keep in mind that being a demon spawn, you're also guaranteed to get a mutation that gives you uh, armor class, like the scales mutation. You're guaranteed a scales mutation, and you're guaranteed a body slot mutation. So you're going to lose a body slot, but you're also going to gain some scales that will give you armor class. And if you get lucky, they may also give you resistance, or it, they may give you even more armor class, like a lot more than what you could have gotten from the body slot that you lost. So it's a, it's a pretty good trade-off. That's how I like to think about it. Um, it also like doesn't do anything until the final level. So for a while you can have the um, uh, the body slot armor and the scales as well. So yeah, it can be okay. Um, but anyway, I'll continue training your magic, um, and we can also train or no, we can go do crypt probably. Hmm. So I already did depths four. I already did uh, just the entrance of Bolt 5, I already did Slime, I guess it's time to face my fears and do Spider. <laughs> yeah, um, doing Spider with 348 HP, Gauntlets even, you're gonna be able to wear Gauntlets of War, 
play mutation. I have had it happen. I have had um, clause two and being offered the gauntlets of war from an acquirement, and the next level up after getting the gauntlets of war, I lose them from clause three. It's kind of lame when that when that thing does happen, but it's like whatever. It's a minor annoyance more than an actual legit grievance. Um, oh wow, the red roach just dis decided to suicide. Um, all right. Shouts to Noxious Bog. It's amazing. It just kills everything that doesn't fly. Really, really good spell. Oh, Isul as well. Well, Isul is also completely unremarkable. Um, especially since I'm in statue form. Statue form makes it so that um, I'm immune to to everything that Isul does. Everything. I'm immune to the sleep, I'm immune to the Venom Bolt, and the Poison Arrow deals a teeny tiny bit of physical damage. Too many high level uh, spiders in the entrance. Like, that entrance, imagine if I had gone in here at the time that you're like expected to get your first rune branch, or your first rune, so you can progress through the game. At like experience of 15 or so, and I had seen that. I have lost like around 100 HP with my 32 armor class immune to poison statue form mugger. How would a normal character fare? I feel like a normal character, maybe a bit on the weaker side character, would have around 100 HP going in here. Um, it would be awful. Yeah, like, experience level 24 spider with 348 HP, and I'm still having um, concerns with spider. And this is also after I did uh, slime as well, and and pretty much everything else that is not spider. Um, I have not done crypt, and I have not done bolt 5, but, but yeah. Um, how was my tournament run? It was, well, I ended it in 27th place. Uh, I feel like I could have done way better. Also, it was my first tournament ever where I didn't get Lord of Darkness 3, and that kind of hurts. Um, but I lost this to a very BS mutation, so I guess it's okay. Um, hopefully, after this version is over, or like after this version goes stable, there will be no more of that mutation. That killed me. Um, that would be nice. Yeah, 27th place. Um, I got a bunch of NEMS choices, and I did a lot of things. It went fine. Um, I liked it. Mm, immediate confusion. Man, Spider is really ridiculous. Mm, I'm expecting big nerfs to Spider. Mm, I don't think it's gonna stay like this. You're excited about Trunks changes? Lots of Octopod Bobs? Um, haven't really been paying attention to many of the trunk changes. Like, oh, the only one that I did notice immediately was uh, the early game uniques, the late game unique b alternate versions of early game uniques, and the uh, changes to launchers. Uh, how am I going to kill a ghost moth? Maybe I should just dive this place. This sounds awful. I'm gonna statue form. Yeah, where are you? Okay, I'm gonna poke you with my thingy. And I hope that it works, because I have no other way to kill you. Dude, it already dealt out more than 100 damage. This is not going well. This is definitely not going well. Um, you miss something. You closely miss something. You barely miss something. Dude, look at my character. This doesn't have to be this way. I'm about to lose all my dexterity. Man, this character cannot deal with ghost mods. It legit can't deal with ghost mods. I have lightning growth. Maybe I shouldn't be so lazy and I should just use that. One dexterity. Okay, we killed the thing. Now let's dive this place. We absolutely cannot have uh, another um, ghost moth do that to me. Um, yep, cannot happen. Cannot happen. Man, that that bolt looks vile. <laughs> Still queuing a bunch of characters before you gotta win twenty minutes before tournament ended. Nice. Yeah, Tengu Air Elemental is down on D3 during Orbron. Last Thursday. It started late on Tuesday. Mm. Yeah, I tried to play... Well, I played a lot of Crawl during the tournament. I always play a lot of Crawl during tournament. Um, tournaments. 
so I got um, 12, 13 wins. Did I get 13 wins or 12? Um, I always try to aim for at least one win a day, and I never get it. Um, but it's fine. Mm. Glad to hear that you enjoy the tournament. Um, that's the point of the tournament, after all. To enjoy it. First time participating, at least you got a win. And it was your facet at, the, at 330. Mm. Talking about that, I always have issues with the Speed Demon banner. Uh, this guy, or this time I only got the Speed Demon banner because I got um, super lucky with a ridiculously powerful Vine Stalker. In the same character, I got Speed Demon 3 and, um, and Graceful 3. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. Also, I had a character where I could have gotten um, that banner that you get for winning um, for winning without raising any skill to 13. I had a character that was easily able to do that, but I accidentally overtrained something. Um, only one skill was overtrained. It's a shame. Mm. If if it had not been for that accidental overtrained skill, I would have been able to to get the banner. Um, because even after I overtrained the skill, I didn't train anymore, uh, so it was fine. Also, thank you for following Steak Jones. I appreciate the follow. Um, I hope that you enjoy crawl because we do a lot of crawling in here. Um, sometimes Reef Wizard and almost never other things that are not Reef Wizard or crawl, but they still very rarely happen. Um, hello, Railbird. Good to see you around, and thank you for stopping by as well. I appreciate it. Now, I wish that the Ghost Mod hadn't destroyed my stats. Dude, uh, this character cannot deal with um, with that. Caves of Koth? Never. I have never played Caves of Koth. Um, and from what I've heard of it, I'm not too interested in, in Caves of Koth, um, to be completely honest. Yeah, after tasting the Ambrosia that is Crawl, it's very difficult for me to be interested in most of the roguelikes. In that regard, this was like a legit miracle that I was interested in uh, in Reef Wizard. But Reef Wizard um, takes like a bunch of things that I don't like about other roguelikes, and that Crawl fixes by like just having ease of use, like how to explore. Uh, and auto travel and control F and that kind of thing and just like throws them away and and it's like those kinds of things don't matter. The only thing that matters is surviving and then surviving again and then surviving again and I like that a lot about that game. Um, you could even say that it's more of a puzzle game than it is a roguelike, uh, but it is a very good game nonetheless. Yeah, very much enjoy it. Mm. Guy who made Brief Wizard was heavily influenced by Crawl. It's very obvious. In fact, it was so heavily influenced by Crawl that I, with no experience in Brief Wizard, was able to win Brief Wizard in my first attempt just because I have like 3,000 hours on Crawl. Um, so, so there's that. You love Crawl? I love Crawl too. Sometimes Crawl doesn't like me very much, but I still like Crawl. Um, yeah, sometimes I get spider, but more often than not, I like crawl. Mm. My character is in a pretty bad spot because I found a, lure, a spider one ghost mod, and my character doesn't have any melee. Uh, so despite the fact that I was in statue form, I was unable to do anything to the ghost to the ghost mod. Um, should have gone for lightning rod way before I started doing it. I just like didn't keep it in mind. Uh, and I thought that maybe I would be able to kill it with the Staff of Conjuration, but it very clearly was not doing it. Um, nice. The port trap. Mm, I have Noxious Bog. Everything dies horribly because Noxious Bog does that. Good stuff. I like that spell a lot. Yep. So if it was not for Syndragor, I think right now I would be training heavy defensive options. Uh, but Syndra Gore influenced me, uh, said embrace the Behumet, and and then I gave in and started training for Chain Lightning, which we currently have at 80% because uh, I lost a ton of strength and I lost a ton of intelligence and I also um, I'm not wearing the ring of uh, the mage. I should probably go back to wearing that. I put on the ring of uh, resistance to negative for um, for doing crypt, but then I didn't go do crypt. I'll probably do it after I get my room from Spider. 
Isn't it time already to chain lightning everything? It would be if I had more intelligence, but the ghost moth kind of ruined the plans. Um, I'm training for it. I am doing my best, but it's still not there. Uh, also, I guess I didn't do the entirety of Bolt 5. I only did the entrance party. If I had done all of it, I would probably already be casting uh, Chain Lightning, but it was not the case. Mm, I really don't want to do any more spider than strictly necessary. Uh, my character would be in serious issues if we ran into another ghost mod, so I definitely don't want to do that. You couldn't find Chain Lightning once during the tournament in all your Elementalist runs. Behumet reasons. Um, yep, uh, that's all I can say. Behumet reasons. I like Behumet a lot. Behumet is definitely my favorite mage god. Um, I think most, if not all, of my wins with Deep Elf, and I have a fair amount of wins with Deep Elf, like easily more than 10, have been with Behumet. Um, also, I sometimes go back home with other uh, characters that are not deep popes, but um, but I generally don't do it because other characters that are not deep popes, well, um, you can just afford to do other things. Mm. You were going hep out of stubbornness. Doesn't sound very good. Wouldn't recommend it. Have you cleared elf already? I did elf before doing uh, lure branches. I did uh, the classic D4, D15. Uh, well, Lair, Orc, D15, Elf. Um, I feel like characters that can do that have like a pretty good win rate in my book. Um, very rarely will I have a character that clears Elf before doing a Lair branch that just dies. Um, I think it has happened once in all of the times that I've done it. Oh man, these Tarantulas are messing me up. Oh man, that's so annoying. I'm gonna have to drink a Q-Ring. Uh, immediate confusion again. Oh man, I hate this place. This place sucks. Least favorite part of the game probably to do to do spider. And this is a spider after two runes too. Like I'm not I'm not at the level at which you get your first rune, and it's still so annoying and painful. Man, I wish the spider rework had been different. It's just more annoying now. More annoying and more variety, but most importantly. It's more annoying, and I I don't like it. Um, you typically go elf after B4, yeah. Um, I would do that if there was no rune lock in bolts, but I mean this is very retro crawl. But um, the rune bolt, the rune lock has been around for a while. Um, but I was playing before the rune lock was a thing, and it was uh, a very big nerf to my characters. The, fa the the introduction of the rune lock because I used to do bolts before doing lair branches, and uh, in the current version of the game I would still do bolts before doing lair branches because lair branches are especially messed up um, in the game as they are right now. Uh, let's drink invisibility because I'm fighting a ghost moth. No ghost moth? Hmm. Maybe I left it downstairs. Okay, that's my bad. Um, we are probably going to drink mana, so I don't um, waste the invisibility. Okay, yeah, there it is. It's hitting me. I am going to irradiate it. Uh, I cannot irradiate it anymore, unfortunately. And I don't know where the ghost moth is, so this is an issue. Um... Hmm. Articulatemis, thank you for the follow. Yeah, or sorry, not follow. That was like a week ago. Thank you for the prime. Um, I appreciate the support. Um, good stuff, good stuff. I'm glad that you have been enjoying the stream to that degree. Um, if you like crawl, do you know that I have literally hundreds of hours of crawl on YouTube? In case you ever want to see crawl while I'm not streaming. You might be interested in checking that out, um, just as much as I am interested in in not dying to this ghost mod. You're aware. Ah, good to know. Yeah. Mm. Did I bring it upstairs with me? I don't think so. Man, I hate this place so much. It doesn't have to be this way, Debs. It doesn't have to be this way. Let's just re teleport. Immediately take 40 damage. I guess it's okay. Did I just give myself yellow contamination? I did. Uh, and I immediately lost it and I got stat rot. You know, stat rot with one dexterity is kind of scary. Remember Bolt 8 and L5? 
I rem I definitely remember Bolt Eight. In fact, I used to do bolts as my first room because just from from going through one bolt one all the way down to bolt eight, like you get you get you used to get so much experience that by then why not just do this instead of going and picking up their their runes. Um, I remember those days. In fact, I fondly uh, remember them. I miss them. Um, Okay, better stay here. Uh huh. I think I should probably. Well, if I had attraction, I would bring attraction right now, just to pull the guys into the clouds of acid. Uh, but I don't have that, so I guess we can freeze in cloud. Mm. I should start thinking about what I'm going to do versus the ghost moth because I'm about to become visible again. So I'm about to lose all my mana. Um. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. This is fine. Hey, I gained one dexterity. Nice. That's one more point of dexterity that needs to be drained for me to get paralyzed. Mm -hmm. You feel your power leaking away. I kind of want to drink an art invisibility. Man, I hate this place. <laughs> I hate this place. Um, I don't know what kind of character you need to do well to do a spider without it being immensely painful. Um, never liked it. Oh, I lost all my dexterity. Okay, let's see what happens. You take thirty. Um, am I not invisible? Well, I guess. Um, I guess it's fine. Is it terrible to be clumsy? I guess you have no shield when you're clumsy. Mm, you have no dexterity. Yes, I am aware of that game. Okay, you're contaminated. Maybe I should stop casting it, Radiate. <laughs> Maybe I should stop casting it, Radiate. Um... No evasion and no stealth. And no shield, too. Uh, my shield is set to zero. Mm, you feel off for a moment. Nice. You hit the Pharaoh Ant, but do no damage. You blast the Pharaoh Ant. Hmm. I feel like maybe I should leave this place. Wow, I'm dying. I'm actually dying here. Huh. Ignition would probably make this place a lot easier for you. Yeah. It's kind of unreasonable to, re to like, maybe not require, but... Uh, to say, hey, level 8 spells are good for your first room branch. Yeah, get a level 8 spell before going in here. Um, I don't know. Okay, I guess we're going to be regening. Give me my regen back. Um, I hate this place. I really do hate this place. Mm. Do you fly? You don't fly. In that case, we can just do this, and then do that. And then do this. Uh -huh. Hey, I regained my dexterity. Nice. Ah, oh, there's another ghost moth. Dude, ghost moths suck. Um, okay, where is it? Ah, oh, it's hitting me. Okay, don't drain my dexterity again. Did I already kill it? Yes, I did. Okay, nice. Nice. I hope that was it. No more ghost mods, because I'm out of potions of invisibility. No more ghost mods. 3041. Mm -hmm. I think the most worrisome part is 1 out of 9 dexterity. Okay. There we go. Oh no, oh no, dude, why? I I am probably gonna die just out of frustration. I don't even know where it is because I don't have seen visible. Wait, I do not have seen visible. Yeah, no sources of it. Um, other than that, um, well, I have a ring. I have a ring that I dropped. Um, and I also have a hat of seeing visible that I am not using because I have the hat of the alchemist. Well, it's next to me, so I guess we're doing that. And now I know what it is. So, Lightning Wrath, uh, please don't remove my dexterity. Aha! 
Aha, uh -huh, 28 out of 41. Other than that, uh, I think I can easily deal with the other monsters. It's just that there's too many ghost mods here. Mana should be easy. Fairy skills would give me some dexterity. Hmm. Maybe I should be wearing fairy skills for this place. Yeah, good catch. Maybe I should put them on. I think if my intelligence was not so crazily drained, I would be able to cast Chain Lightning. What if we Phantom Mirror Mara? Okay, I think Mara is immune to poison. Resistant to poison. Does Mara fly? Mana doesn't fly, but I've uh, summoned a copy. So I guess I won't be using um, Noxious Bog. There we go, epic mana combat. Um, oh, no more mana, so I guess I can now um, use Noxious Bog to kill the Maras. You kill Mara. But that was probably not the real Mara. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go, as easy as that. If the monster doesn't fly, the monster dies super easily to, to Noxious Bog plus Ignite Poison. It's a shame that uh, Ghost Mods hard counter these, because they fly and, they, um, and they're also um, invisible and they drain your mana. Really, really hard counter to, to this character. I think there was a serious mistake um, in my first engagement with a ghost mod. I shouldn't have um, done what I did, um, because now I am at 1 dexterity and 29 intelligence, but I should definitely not be like that right now. Um, uh, anyway, we're almost done with uh, spider, so that's pretty good. Um, Really excited for getting out of here and doing Crypt. Crypt is going to be significantly easier. I have LRD. I have a statue form for uh, things that torment. Hopefully no more ghost mods. Please no more ghost mods. Pretty good is how you would describe it. Should put on the fairy skills as well. Oh man, another ghost moth. Uh, Condenser Bane. I got acid again, sweet. Two acids in a row, okay. No need to fear the ghost moth then. I feel like I gained a lot of mana from that. Did I kill the ghost moth? Mm, yes, I did kill the ghost moth, nice. Mm, acid fog is so good. I wish it was available in a more consistent way, but I understand why it's not. It's just because it feels special and cool when you do get it. Um, and if it was more common, it wouldn't feel so special and cool. Same reason why Punk is a thing. It killed so many things. I think it's uh, fire resistant or fire immune. Uh, it's fire resistant, so I guess I'll just walk away from it. Um, the new spiders are not weak to poison. I don't like that very much. Old spiders um, were all weak to poison. Well, this is a tragedy. Yet another ghost moth. Okay, at least we kill it. Um, with not a lot of difficulty. Let's just go upstairs, rest the mana, go downstairs, jump away from that. Jump away from that. 
Um, Blink is such a nice thing to have for this place. Let's you dodge um, Orbs of Destruction. Let's you get away from, from being weft by the jumping spiders. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Now, the rune should be somewhere around here. Fine hat. It's not going to be better than the hat of the alchemist, but let's check it out. And yeah, it's not good. Um, or at least, I guess it's good. It's okay, but it's not better than the hat of the alchemist. Really hard for anything to be better than the hat of the alchemist. Mm. Okay. Three runes. That's enough to enter Sot. Uh, Spider was so necessarily difficult. Let's go to... Um, that place that I mentioned earlier. Crypt. Okay, let's put this on instead of this for a bit. And we can... Uh, oh, LRD here is probably not the right thing to do. I was gonna quiver LRD, but I remember what happened when I quivered... Um, then I remember what happened when I quivered um, Fireball in, in Shoals. If you were here yesterday, you probably remember, but I almost died and it was pretty bad. So better not be in that same position again. Hmm. Well, that um, it didn't go very well. The Vampire um, Knight was able to just tank through all of that LRD. LRD is not very good if you don't have a lot of... Um, well, it's not good against monsters with good armor class, and a Bumper Knight does have good armor class. Mm. I wonder what I should have on the Quiver. Obviously, Poisonous Vapors is not a good thing to have on the Quiver, because the vast majority of these guys are not uh, going to be affected by Poison. Um, can I learn Orb of Destruction again? Because I'm kind of missing it. Clear creep with only freezing clouds. <laughs> um, that sounds very painful. Now, clear creep with only orb of destruction? Maybe we could do that. But yeah, that's what I want to see. Some ancient champs so we can LRD them. And then make a ton of noise and attract everything in the level. Mm. Okay, let's just get out, regen the mana, come back in. I have so little mana. Um, I wonder if I should drink Mutation to get rid of the minus 10 MP. But then I have Robust, you know? On the other hand, I am a... Um, I'm a Nogger, so it probably doesn't matter for me to lose a lot of um, a lot of HP. Or I guess to lose Robust, because I still have a lot of HP even without Robust. It's just that I have 277 HP, you know? Kind of hard to say no to that. Mm. Mm. I uh, was thinking that there was a bolt that I left with two liches and two ancient liches, but I did end up opening and, and clearing that by reading teleport before opening it, um, fighting the things in a much more reasonable way instead of just four liches and a ghost at the same time. Um, okay, I wish I had melee. This character probably needs a bit of melee. Mm. High level simulacra. Okay. This would be a perfect time to have Starburst. I can just get Starburst. I have it in my in my spell book. It's at one percent. It even deals decent damage, I'm pretty sure. Six dice of eighteen. Yeah, that's some that's some serious damage. Maybe I should pick it up for this place. Do I have um? I have one. Well, I in that case, I guess we cannot do that. I could also just train spellcasting for a bit. Mm. It would only it would all be easier if I could already cast chain lightning, but we're not there yet. 
Yep. Spider is not only too difficult, um, it is also very stingy with the amount of um, experience that it provides. It's like absolutely not worth it. If it was optional, if it was like a portal branch, I would definitely never do Spider. Um, I would put it in the same tier as Desolation Assault or, or Hard Ice Cave. Uh, it's it's like too dangerous and too like not worth it for for what it is. Um, but it is like a mandatory thing to do pretty much. You definitely have to do it for your rune. I could have done Bolt 5. In fact, it's gonna sound like a meme, but I think Bolt 5 might have been better and more rewarding and easier to do than than, than Spider. It's crazy, right? But I, I really think it was like that. Mm. I still could do it, just to get a bit more experience and, uh, and some loot. Do I even need the loot? Hmm, I guess I could use a better tower shield, but like... The rest of the things that I have are pretty crazy good, and I don't really see myself upgrading from them. Mm. That Phantasmal Warrior... Oh, no, no, I killed it, and there was another one. Yeah, it was like, did it survive my Radiate without taking any damage? That's crazy, but fortunately it was not like that. Uh, Soul Eaters have a ton of armor class, so um, better not to LRD them wouldn't really do anything. Mm. Oh, what is that? That's new. BB the Exile, one of the Stormborn, formed untold aeons ago with supreme command over rock. Her people shelter deep within the living earth, so whatever has forced BB into the oppressive openness of the dungeon must be dire indeed. But whatever it is, she's not talking. Um, she looks like she dies to LRD. Oh man, she can hit for 27 to deal 63 extra cold damage, and hit for 27 to deal up to 42 extra fire damage if any damage is dealt. She has eruption, power classic surge, and creeping frost. Pretty cool. Uh, this, ah uh, yeah, this is like the um, the frost heart thing. Eruption is the thing that um, creates um, lava next to you. Paraclastic Surge um, draws seeing flames from lava. That's massive armor class. Yes, it is. Uh, that's pretty. It's pretty cool to see um, a new unique. Yeah, that was uh, unexpected. Um, so I would like to fight her, but I need her to be at full screen. Yeah, I can. I feel like I can kill her with seven LRDs. Mm, but I I need her to be far away from me. Mm. Or maybe not. Maybe my LRD deals trash damage. Three dice of 22. Hmm. I'm not wearing the Ring of the Mage. Uh, probably should put it on. Looks like something from this. Needs LRD. Um, LRD... Uh, it, 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 is a, it is a construct, so I can LRD the monster directly. That's why I was mentioning it. It was probably not obvious to, to you, Tao's viewers, but to me, a console player, well, I can see from the glyph that it is a construct, and constructs are uh, vulnerable to LRD. You can directly target them with LRD. Um, you can also target uh, skeletal monsters like this revenant with LRD. Mm. Maybe don't do that. Wow, it took 58? Uh, man, this character probably would be better with some armor instead of going for for the meme um, of Chain Lightning. Mm. Okay, the curse is cool. Next to me, better jump away from it, statue form, LRD, goodbye. Uh, I want to see BB again. I may be the first person to 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 see BB. Seems very new to me. Um, a milestone, and he won unique because BB. Hold on, the bot. Oh, I didn't do it right. 
I didn't do it right, I forgot a space. Um... Oh, it's been killed by eight people already. Oh, it's it appears in SOT. BB appears in SOT. Huh. Interesting. You have statue form for armor class. Don't play chain lightning for not casting it. I still cannot cast it. It has a 36% chance to fail. Uh, even with the ring of the mesh. It's a shame. It's really a shame. I don't have enough um enough experience to be able to cast it. But soon, very soon, probably after Bolt 5, I'm going to be able to do it. So I'm probably going to go to Sot and I'm going to Quiver Chain Lightning, and it's going to be fun. Okay, I have a Vampire Mesh. That's fine. Mm -hmm. There we go, easy peasy. Now, where's BB? Um, oh, Reaper with a Sight of Distortion. Huh. It's kind of annoying. It is called resistance, so the clouds wouldn't do anything, but I have something that th that certainly does something. And there she is, BB. Huh, you cannot tell our DBB? Seriously? Hmm. Hmm, that seems wrong. I better report that. Um... Oh, oversight. So you're supposed to be able to LRD BB or to be able to LRD BB, but it was a bit of an oversight. Um, well, it's fine. Mm, we can easily um, kill BB with Orb of Destruction anyway. Looks like a pure tankiness. Yeah, it, it looks it looks like a legit a scary late game unique, which I like. Not a lot of characters are going to have a clean answer for this. Um, my character probably doesn't. With uh, with 5 mana, that is. Need more mana. But I have an amulet of mana regen. So I can go down, go up, regen all my mana. And BB will not be um, at full HP. So there we go. Easy peasy. You blow up BB. <laughs> nice. I like it. Um, it was it was nice to see. I was like, "What is that?" And I I like being like, "What is that?" in this game because after three thousand hours, you don't get that feeling very often. Um, not even from Pandemonium Lords, but uh, you, new uniques certainly do that very well. Okay, this is trash. Well, maybe the book is interesting. It is not interesting, so I'm gonna get the money, even though the money. Doesn't do anything, because I don't have a, any good shops that I care about. Yep, nothing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm glad that we caught that you cannot tell our DBB. And uh, I assume that it's going to be fixed soon. Uh, I mean, if it's called Stoneborn, I would assume that, um, that you can LRD it, but... But no, it was a teeny tiny oversight that will be fixed um, very soon. Okay. I like this ending. The only thing that I don't like about this ending is the fact that it has the spiders. Um, not that the spiders are threatening or anything, it's just that I don't like spiders. Yeah, that was cool. Mm, okay. So when, when am I going to be able to Clyde? It's at 28%. If I had my 47 intelligence, I probably would be able to do it right now. I might still do it regardless um, in the near future. Like against those Saints in Liches, maybe I would I would like to do it. Okay, better be surrounded to get maximum value out of my irradiates. Uh huh. And thanks to the massive armor class that I get from from statue form, I don't really get into a lot of trouble. Um, 
These guys are not fast enough to surround me while I walk around in statue form. Okay, cannot do that anymore because I already am heavily contaminated. I guess we're doing that instead. Hmm, that went very well. Yeah, can't complain about that. Good stuff. So you got to see the brand new unique on the stream. I got to see the brand new unique on the stream. I didn't even know about the introduction of that new unique. I only knew about the new uh, park hit and Josephina, which we can still find because they're both super late game uniques. Um, didn't know about BB. Okay. I like how uh, Orb of Destruction one shots Reapers. It seems to do so relatively consistently. Mm. Mm. If I cast a statue form, um, I lose some intelligence. So, yeah, my, my success rate in Chain Lightning stays the same whether I am in statue form or not. That's interesting. Mm. I kind of want to cast it. Let's go. Hey, look at that. Amazing. It didn't kill everything. Well, it killed everything that it touched. Uh, let's be fair. It killed everything that it touched. But it didn't kill everything on the screen. Let's do it again. Good stuff. Good stuff. You regain three mana. See, that's that's beautiful about Vehumet. You regain three mana. Mm. Looking forward to... Um, to starting a launcher run after this, Ushtabi. Ushtabi means uh, easy LRD able monster, and so I went for that. Okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. Nice trident. Nice leather armor of poison resistance. And bad ring. Yeah, that ring is pretty bad. Too many necromancers. I'm gonna cast a statue form. And a lich. And the lich proceeds to get dispelled by uh, Irradiate. You know, Irradiate is kind of dispel enemy monster. You know, it's not dispel on death. It's dispel enemy monster. Hmm. Gonna drop that ring. It's not. It's really not good. Definitely doesn't compare to the rings that I already have. Um, I guess I have enough armor class to do this. You take eight damage from um, the Cossack Shrike mostly. Yeah, hits you but does no damage. Of course, it's not gonna do any damage. I have 34 armor class. Mm -hmm. LRD is super bad against monsters with armor class. It also is super bad against players with armor class. Monsters sometimes cheat though, and they actually deal damage to you even if you have armor class with LRD. Um... Yeah, but monsters cheating is a, a staple of the crawl experience, you know? It wouldn't be crawl if the monsters were not cheating. So, um, I guess we're in the waiting room for Chain Lightning. It's already at um, 22%. We're getting very close to being able to reliably cast it. I wonder if I could, if, if I could already cast it if I uh, take off the Tower Shield. Probably going to do that. Just to check, um, take off the tower shield. It's not even that good anyway, so I guess I can lose it. And yeah, eight percent. It's crazy, dude. Behum or yeah, Behumet plus Archmagi uh, plus forty-three intelligence makes it so that I can cast Chain Lightning with uh, seventeen air magic and seventeen conjurations. It's incredible. It's definitely magical. Just gonna turn that off for a while. Um, and I uh, think I'm gonna go around and chain lightning uh, everything. Yeah, it's so much damage. Should I put it on the quiver? I kind of want to put it on the quiver. Oh, chain lightning. Okay, here it is. 
Also, I probably should drink mutation so I can get rid of the minus um, mana mutation. So I have, so I can have more than 31 mana. Hmm. What if I did tomb with this? I mean, it's a shame to have chain lightning and not and not go further with it, right? Uh, all right, maybe I'll do I do 15 runes. It, maybe not, probably not. But I I think tomb is sounding kind of safe. Um, doesn't doesn't seem like the most terrible or terrifying thing for my character. Um, let me drop that. It's not good. Hmm. Did I get a double miscast of Chain Lightning? You know what? Fair enough, because I didn't get miscasts before when I was casting it with like 30% chance to fail it. Okay. So this bolt has um, like two ains in liches, very close together. Uh, we should definitely not have any issues with them because we have chain lightning. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy, let's do it again. And there we go. Um, I wish I had had um, chain lightning for BB. I want to see how, how it deals with BB. Mm. Okay. Easy Liches. Mm. The 8 strength. You know, that's a pretty good ring. Not for my character, but pretty good nonetheless. Uh, you do need some cold resistance to mitigate the weakness, of course. Um, it's unfortunate that it's not such an appealing ring for my character, because I do have all the cold resistance that I need. In fact, I have so much that I'm wearing a ring of fire, and I still have three pips of cold resistance. Um... Okay, okay, I like the chain lightning, it's at 7%. That's, that's definitely pretty sick. Um... Spider dealt so much damage to my stats that they are still not fully restored, despite the fact that I did the entirety of Crypt. Um, yeah, I don't like Spider. It's always nice when you get the chance to not do Spider. I'm just gonna put it like that. And here they are, the Spiders. Uh, but now I have Chain Lightning, so we can just Chain Lightning them. Mm, 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 I wonder what that staff is. Poison, fire resistance, and agony. Uh, well, nice ending. Um, safer than spider, obviously. Let's do bolts 5 for real this time. Mm. There's a ghost. Oh, did I not kill that ghost? Because, like, that bolt with the liches was here, and I guess I didn't. I, I may have, may not have killed the ghost. It's not that much of an issue, of course. Um, I can easily kill it with Chain Lightning now. Uh -huh. Okay, Chain Lightning until I run out of mana to cast it, and then we go upstairs. And then we take off the Hat of the Alchemist, and we drink Potions of Mutation to get rid of the minus mana. Uh, I got... I got uh, stat rot 2, so that's pretty bad. I don't want to have stat rot 2. Let's do it again. Mm, I lost a stat rot, and I lost robust. And I also lost... Or I didn't lose the minus 10 mana, which is the thing that I wanted to lose in the first place. Mm, that's, like, completely irrelevant. So I guess we're gonna stay with that. Yeah. It's like pretty much not having mutations, because the um, the cold resistance I already had cold resistance maxed, so it doesn't do anything. And the strangely shaped body, I'm not wearing body armor, so it, it also doesn't matter. Um, there we go. Okay, let's continue. Hmm. How much damage did I just take? 61. Okay, interesting. What dealt 61? Stone Giant plus uh, Stone Giant, Bolt Warden. Oh, okay, okay. Let's go upstairs. Oh, I got uh, locked in by the Bolt Warden. I wonder if I should play it safe and uh, re-teleport or something. I probably should. I'll do it. From this amount of HP, I don't think I die. 
while I wait for the teleport to trigger. It's definitely not in the same tier as a sub teleport. And yeah, like I'm taking damage because that's just the nature of being in statue form. Uh, you're giving monsters more actions so they get the chance to hurt you more, uh, which is completely fine. Mm. But yeah, as I suspected, we um, escaped with very little issues. Um, I guess for some monsters, even though I have Chain Lightning, it is still better to go for Poisonous Vapors and Ignite Poison. Um, Quicksilver Dragon. You hate to see it. Those guys are um, very capable of just getting rid of my um, statue form. They love to do it. That's fine. I don't care. Mm, that's still fine. Let's go for Chain Lightning now. Okay, I didn't kill the Far Giant. I was hoping to do so. Okay, and there we go. Now, uh, I would like to not be at 50 HP. Also, maybe I shouldn't have cast that, because it probably made incredible amounts of noise. Um, Bolt 5, am I right? Let's read the Scroll Fogum. Mm, maybe drink heal wounds. Mm -mm 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 -mm. With this amount of HP, I feel safe. It's like... I have played characters that get to this part of the game with around that amount of maximum HP, like the cats. Um, the cats get to, to three digits of HP so late into the game. So I definitely do not feel um, very threatened. Mm -mm. Still feel somewhat threatened, of course. I guess I can read a scroll summoning. Let's see what we get. Eh, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Can't complain about uh, what we got. We got a Tengu Reaver and a Stone Giant. Uh, there's a Convoker next to me. Mm. I can poke it and it dies. Mm. Have you ever won with cats? Uh, three times I have won with cats. Uh, I have won with every species and every background and every god at least once. With some species, I have won many, many times, such as Ogre, because Ogre makes me happy. Uh, but with some species, I have won them the bare minimum. Um, I won Cat once in my old account, once in this account that I made for the stream, and once um, because a viewer bribed me to play Cat, so I was contractually ob obligated to play a Cat. Until I won it, and so I won the cat. Um, and no more cats than that, because I, I think cat is like the antithesis of fun whenever you're playing crawl. Like, if you want to play crawl but you don't want to have fun, you could play a cat. But why would you play crawl then? <laughs> um, however, it may be that it's just not my cup of tea. Um, I have heard from other people that they very much enjoy playing cat. And I fail to understand how someone can enjoy playing cat, but... I mean, uh, everyone has different tastes, right? How does cat work? You have no inventory slots. You have no weapon, no shield, no body armor, no hat. Yes, no hat. Not even a hat. So no helmet, no hat. Um, you have no, um, no cloak. You have no gloves, no boots. You have an amulet. You have a ring. Well, you have two rings and an amulet. That's all you got. Uh, you cannot use weapons. It's very hard for you to get defenses uh, or resistances in that in those conditions. And you also have the lowest HP in the entirety of the game. It's really, really bad to play a cat. Um, yeah, cat is literally a cat. Um, literally a cat. The same thing as a cat. Also, why am I not wearing the hat of the alchemist? Uh, I know why. It's because I was not. I took it off to get rid of the minus um, magic mutation. Mm. But yeah, Hat of the Alchemist is extra good with my character because when I cast the statue form, it doesn't get melded. So I do get a ton of armor class, uh, but I also get all the resistances and, and defenses. Mm. Okay, good stuff. I like Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning is really, really good. Not my favorite level 9, but still pretty good. Good enough to do a Sigrat with, probably. Okay. 
There we go. I kind of want to cast Chain Lightning in Ogre form. I just wanted to see how much damage it would deal to me. It doesn't seem to have uh, dealt any damage, so I guess that's fine. Okay, now it does 13 damage. Very little damage. Um, hmm. Fire Giant flickers and vanishes. Okay. It deals such ridiculous amounts of damage. Uh, three dice of 114. <laughs> it is a lot of damage. Lots of damage. Yeah, if they if Cat could have Hat, they would be able to wear the Hat of the Alchemist. And so if you found the Hat of the Alchemist as a Cat, you would be a very lucky Cat, because you still don't have uh, defenses anyway, so it's not like you're losing HP from... Or like if you, it's not like you're using defenses from, from wearing a Hat of the Alchemist. Um... But it's not the case, they cannot wear that. Hmm. I missed Cast Chain Lightning at 4%. Unlucky. Let's just walk away from that uh, Yachter. And then kill it with Chain Lightning. Mm, that's a good ring. Yeah, that's a pretty good ring. I mean, I don't need it with this character because I had the Heart of the Alchemist, but the vast majority of characters don't have the Heart of the Alchemist, and those kinds of characters would love to have that ring. In fact, uh, on other characters, I would be very happy to have found that. Um, uh, lots of Randarts. Oh, that ring is also pretty good. Yeah, I think between this between this ring that we just found and that ring, like that's resistances for the rest of the game on on many characters. But I'm not uh, one of those characters, uh, so I can just drop them on the floor. In fact, I can also drop this one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get very bad rolls with Chain Lightning, but I guess that's the nature of, of Chain Lightning. It's a level 9 spell. Uh, well, it's a lightning spell. Uh, Air Magic is very shaky with its damage. Sometimes it barely deals any damage, and sometimes it literally destroys everything. Um, yep, as very clearly exemplified by that Convoker, I just hit it with 3 dice of 100 and something. 3 dice of 108, and the Convoker still managed to Convoke. It, it's only heavily wounded. Like nothing to that Convoker. Um, there we go. Easy peasy. Nothing to fear here. But then again, you don't normally do Bolt 5 with a level 9 spell. Um, so I better savor the experience, because I uh, almost never get this specific spell, Chain Lightning, because it's uh, among the most expensive spells in the game. Like, the only other spell that is as expensive as uh, Chain Lightning is, is Farstorm. And if I had to choose between Chain Lightning and Farstorm, I would probably get Farstorm on the vast majority of my characters. Um, I have the option to get those two, or like, I have the option to get Farstorm, and I didn't go for it with this character, because I already had a good enough amount of training on Air Magic. Like, I had more Air Magic than Fire Magic, so I just went for, for the thing that was easier and um, cheaper for me to get. And, well, um, I cannot complain. It's still a level 9 spell. Still kills everything. I wish I had more mana, though. I only have 36 mana. No idea why is that. I feel like I should have more than 36 mana. But I guess Ogres don't get that much mana. They do get a lot of spellcasting, so you can easily compensate for that by training a lot of spellcasting. And in fact, uh, that's something that I like to do very early in the game. Um, train a lot of spellcasting. Train spellcasting to 4 as the very first thing in the game. Um, and you have enough mana to kill things in like D1 and D2. Um, so um, by training spellcasting first, you're actually training the skill that you need to, to train to kill things. Um, I could get Stormform, but I think Stormform melts your hat, which makes it not good. Um, I was thinking maybe I could replace a Statue Form with Stormform, but nah. Man, this character has some pretty good spells. Shatter and Firestorm and other nice things as well. Uh, Ignition. Yeah, if I really wanted to, I could go for 15 runes with this character. Um, I'm probably not going to do it. Hmm... Mm. 
Yeah, let's just win the game. Let's just win the game. I was thinking if I wanted to do more with this character, and I kinda do want to, but on the, on the other hand, I want to uh, try the new launchers as well. And I don't want to like die with this character, and uh, I also don't want to, to go for another stream, so... Yep, um, just going to win the game. Okay, probably very gimmicky to do that, um, considering that I have no staff skill. But um, but I cast the statue form to be able to tap down the Draconian, and that went well. Looking forward to the Hunter run. You were trying out the new launchers earlier, and you think you like the change? Um, yeah, it's, they work differently now, um, from what I've read. I have not tried them myself yet, but I like the idea of being able to actually shoot everything from the entirety of the game. It's probably still too powerful, but um, but it's pretty good nonetheless. Um, so when I read about the changes, I my my first thought that was that uh, all the launchers were kind of becoming uh, Fustivalus now, which it deals pretty decent damage, but it doesn't deal as much damage as a longbow or something else, right? Um, and it seems to be the case with the with a reduction in damage dealt by many of the launchers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about doing the best reveal of hell because I was still in tournament mode. In the tournament, I missed one unique to get the banner for killing 81 uniques. I missed one. And my options were Dissolution, Murray, or Ignacio. Um... Those were the only three uniques that I didn't kill. I even killed the Amat. I think that was like uh, during my first game of the tournament that I killed the Amat. Well, my first win of the tournament, to be more precise, because my first game of the tournament was a death, and then my second game of the tournament was a win. Mm -hmm. Chain lightning, doing chain lightning things. I don't even need to stat to form. So, if I don't need to statue form, I can just walk around like, like crazy and uh, shoot everyone with Chain Lightning. Hmm. Certainly easier to play the game with mana. Oh, did I just miscast Chain Lightning at 2%? Okay, fair enough. I hope that it doesn't happen very much. It's noticeable when you miscast your level 9 spell, because you lose 9 mana, but things in the screen are still alive. Yeah, it happened again. Man, I feel like when, when you're casting level 9 spells and you have like a low percent chance to miscast them, it happens more often than in the early game where you're using your level 1 spell with like 12% chance to miscast and you cast it successfully like um, for the entirety of the floor. Do you have resistance to electricity or something? I feel like that guy was just getting super lucky. Um, hmm. The Black Draconian Knight is hasted, so I better go into statue form for dealing with that guy. Irradiate, irradiate. Yep. Good statue form right there. You have a Minotaur with a plus 5 Arbalest right now, and it feels plenty powerful. Did the Arbalest get um, nerfed? Because last time I saw them, they were pretty buff. They were better than, than in the previous version. Um... Oh, they got nerfed. They got nerfed a lot, dude. Man, it's a shame. They used to be 18 damage. Um, they, they were 18 damage, 1.8 delay when I checked yesterday. Now it's 15 damage, 1.8 delay. Mm, maybe a bit over nerfed. I would still like to use them. But it's, I'm going to miss the good old days of the Arbalest, just one-shotting fiends. Mm. Arbalest of Holy Wrath is a pretty, a pretty good fiend one-shotter. Or it used to be, uh, the previous version. Don't know about this version, but it's probably going to be better for uh, Lord of Darkness 3 to go for a launcher now, because you don't have to be constrained by the limitations of um, of the ammo. You can just shoot everything. Hmm, electric Golem. Uh, Orb of Destruction, Orb of Destruction, Chain Lightning. Huh. I feel like uh, some monsters should really be immune to Chain Lightning. Electric Golem feels like the kind of monster that should absolutely be immune to, to Chain Lightning. Same goes for MCC. I feel like um, Electric Golems shouldn't be immune to, to MCC, but they're not. 
Mm, okay, I have um, the ability to do that, so easy kill on the Killer Clown. Mm, the layout, this layout in SOT seems weird. Seems super chaotic. I'm not too much of a fan of it. Okay. When I get to 20 in those schools, probably gonna train a ton of spell casting, maybe 27 fighting. Um, I could train more shields. I could train more um, more far magic to also cast far storm. But yeah, as I mentioned, like um, I'm just gonna win the game after um, after being done with Sot, Even though I could probably go do a lot of other things. Cigarettes and Tomb and uh, maybe even Extended, even though I don't like Extended very much. Don't like Pandemonium, don't like the Abyss, and uh, Hells are cool, but they are like going back to the early game. And there is a difference between going back to the early game when, when your character has like uh, literal minutes of uh, playtime and um, more than 7 hours, you know? And this character, well... It already has 5 hours and 44 minutes. If I was to do um, extended, it would probably be much more after 7 hours have passed. Mm. Biggest improvements for launchers in your opinion? Is not needing to train a secondary weapon skill to conserve ammo. ammo. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Okay, goodbye Orb of Fire. We uh, fear you not. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're using Chain Lightning, you can just kill everything. It legit kills everything in a couple of casts. It's such a powerful spell. Mm. I'm actually gonna train this to like 24, so... I'm also gonna train Fighting. Well, Jello Draconian Annihilator, I don't have mana, so I would like not to fight here right now. Ouch. The Crystal Spear hits you. You take 64 damage. Fortunately, 64 damage is mm, not whatever, but it is also not game breaking, like it would be with many other characters. Um. And keep in mind that I haven't even trained that much fighting. I have 15 fighting. Uh, and I have had 15 fighting since the very early game. I uh, decided not to train it very highly. Also, having robots helped with that. Mm. Lightning Roth. Oh, I guess I can chain lightning. Let's give that a try. Uh -huh. Behumet hooked me up with some mana after casting chain lightning. So, uh, not only was it free, but I also gained 9 mana from casting it. Um, it's pretty good. I am kind of missing that... Um, the the Moon Troll letter, you know? Very much missing it, because I feel like it is pretty good to, to have the extra regen. But the Fairy Scales give me na a 6 intelligence? Yeah, I don't think I can say no to the 6 intelligence. This is the kind of ball that you that you literally die to if you don't have resistance to poison. Uh, because everything there was either tentacle monstrosities, which are whatever, or the extremely dangerous um, poison cloud users. Mm -hmm. You should not do this place if you don't have poison resistance. Um, I think it's crucial to have it nowadays. It used to be that it was like whatever, but... Not anymore. Definitely not anymore since the change to the, the poison damage. Um, a couple of versions ago it was made that poison dealt significantly more damage to the player. And um, I don't know about it for sure, but it feels to me that monsters also take significantly less damage to poison themselves. Mm. Poison is still pretty good to kill the vast majority of things, however. Um, for example, against most Draconians, like for example this Black Draconian Knight, uh, it doesn't have Poison Resistance, nor Fire Resistance, so I can just go for um, Poisonous Vapors, um, Ignite Poison, finish it off with Chain Lightning, and there you go, easy kill. We can do the exact same thing for this Yellow Draconian. Mm -hmm. 
this sort one has a lot of experience, it seems. Lots of monsters, lots of experience. I think I'm just gonna dive sort. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna dive sort. Hmm. I have the conjurations title. I don't know if I want that. Yeah. I'll get enough experience in Sot 5. Hey, nice elevator. Um, it's always pretty neat to see the game give you an elevator when you actually don't want to do um, much of Sot. Magic mapping. Mm, the stairs are right there. Yes, the stairs that are closest to me are those ones over there. The way that I'm going to do this is go up and dig... Um, and it seems that we got pretty lucky, because we didn't really stumble into any nasty enemies. Um, pretty nice, pretty nice indeed. Mm -hmm. This level has the stairs to SOT5. You hear a roar times two. Maybe I should have been stealthy, instead of casting literally one of the loudest spells in the game. Okay, have I gotten malmutated by the overfire? Doesn't seem to be the case. Wow, this character is pretty tanky. Mm. Orbofire refused to die, however. Mm. I guess we're gonna have to shoot, with, shoot it with that. Yeah, I'm missing a bit of mana to be able to chain lightning. One more mana, I'm gonna get it next turn because I'm using mana regen, and there we go. Orbofire is almost destroyed. Um, that was unfortunate. Yeah, didn't kill the Orb of Fire, it's almost destroyed. Maybe if I had hit it with some acid. I think I failed to hit it with acid like three times in a row or something. Mm -hmm. it just misses a lot. Orbs of Fire have too much evasion, unfortunately. 46% chance to hit with acid. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for Irradiate. Yep. For the White Draconian, we can tap it down with Zero Skill Staff of Conjuration. Works out very well. Let's go downstairs. Final level of the game. Um, magic Mapping. Let's see what we got here. Mm -mm -mm. Alarm Trap is good, because that means that I will have a lot of monsters uh, close to me. And a lot of monsters close to me uh, will make it so that I regain a ton of mana from casting uh, Chain Lightning. So more Chain Lightnings and more monsters to kill. Mm -hmm. Pretty good stuff. Good stuff indeed. So Storm Dragons are not poison resistant. Um, they are among the best monsters to poisonous vapors ignite poison in Sot. Uh, there's a ghost mod here. And I don't have... Oh, I have two invisibilities. Still wouldn't like to use it. Um, I think the ghost mod is going to be right here. Yep, there it is. And it has a green draconian monk as support. I don't want to deal with that. Mm. As it doesn't work, I'm gonna go for uh, Lightning Rod. Yeah, training evocations as a mage is pretty good for this specific kind of situation. For dealing with uh, Ghost Mods. It didn't kill the Ghost Mod, the charges of the Lightning Rod. Uh, unlucky. Let's do TNF Tremor Stones. Should kill? It doesn't kill. Let's do it again. Okay, now it's dead. Um. I'm gonna wait until I have 9 mana, and then I'm gonna cast Chain Lightning against these guys. Kills the monk. Uh, doesn't kill the other guys because they're resistant. It's fine. We knew that was not gonna happen. Mm. Okay. You closely miss the Black Draconian. The Black Draconian is almost dead. The Black Draconian dies. It's always nice to see that you miss a monster, but the monster still dies for some reason. In this case, it was because the Draconian was seriously poisoned, in case you didn't know. Um... Kidoki went pretty good. Um, I'm glad that my first character of uh, the version is quite possibly going to end in a win. I'm gonna have the ability to ping in the in the roguelikes discord 
that I uh, have a 100% win rate in 0 0.29, but it's going to get much more impressive once I win my second character in a row, if it does happen. Um, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I may not be as uh, perfect at playing crawl as Yermak, um, but I'm still pretty decent. So I'll take I'll take my my 100% win rate in 0 0.29. Uh, 0 0.29 while I have it. Mm. Chain lightning is so good. Not my favorite level 9. That has to be Polar Vortex, but I still like Chain Lightning a fair amount. Mm, okay, I got marked. That was uh, well within the plan. So now I'm going to retreat, and I'm going to cast Chain Lightning. And I am going to cast that, and I'm going to cast Chain Lightning again. Uh, now I have the Ogre Mage title, which is exactly what I wanted. I'm going to step away from the line of sight of the Lich. I'm going to drink Brilliance and Haste. Now I'm going to press the Chain Lightning button a lot. Um, Brilliance makes it cost 5 mana instead of 9, so I get a lot more casts with my very limited mana pool. And as you can see, it's killing things extremely well. My only issue is that it is also chipping away at my own HP, unfortunately. Um, but it's fine. As long as I don't actually get hit by other monsters while I'm doing this, uh, it should be perfectly sustainable. Just because I'm dealing vastly more damage to the monsters than they are dealing to me. Mm. Yeah, if I drop below 100, we have to leave. In fact, I'm gonna start preemptively walking towards the stairs. Because it seems that there's no stairs close to the bolt. Um, oh man, that's another orb of fire. We get a 1% miscast on Chain Lightning, unfortunate. Uh -huh. Bit of a typo there. Gave the Killer Clown an extra turn. But we should be fine. Yeah, I lost the mark. I killed so many things by doing that. Killed uh, like two Liches and three Orbs of Fire. Um, it went very well. It went very well. Got a lot of value out of that mark trap. The rest of uh, the bolt should be very easy after doing that. Um, some characters absolutely cannot deal with getting marked in SOT 5, but characters that can kill monsters very well, or can uh, take very long fights, is... Um, or for characters that can take long fights or that can kill things very quickly, it's a blessing uh, in these guys to get marked in SOT 5, because it means that you, ha you get to take the fight in a much more controlled way. So you don't get hit by 17 dudes um, at the same time. Oh, I almost uh, got killed by this leech. Oh man, that's not it's not going well. Mm. Never mind. Was able to kill the leech with Chain Lightning very easily. I feel like um, Orb of Destruction deals significantly more consistent damage. Yeah. And it certainly does, because Orb of Destruction it deals like 9 dice of, uh, what, 20? That's so much damage. Uh, Chain Lightning is 3 dice of 120, but it's only 3 dice. What if you roll 3, 5, and 7? Uh, with Orb of Destruction, it's 9 dice, so the damage is significantly more consistent. Even if you roll uh, 1, 9 times, which is extremely unlikely, you still deal 9 damage. And it only gets much better from there. Hmm... Okay, let's go do the rest of it. I feel like if you want, if you have chain lightning, you probably should have a lot of regen because it because of the self damage. It may not be a lot of self damage with resistance to electricity, but it certainly stacks up super hard. And yeah, as I told you, uh, the vast majority of the bolt is is empty. Um, Thanks to the alarm trap. I seem to have gotten a very benevolent sub 5 with not a lot of enemies. Mm. Okay, I have resistance, so I don't care. Deals very little damage with resistance. Well, I say very little damage, but what's really happening is the fact that I am a, I, I am an ogre. I have experience level 27. 
I have 284 HP, so if I was to get hit by 40 damage, which can certainly happen if you have resistance, even if you have resistance uh, by an electric golem, it's still not a big deal. Mm. Yeah, I love ogres. They're so good. I feel like all my runs are uh, ogre highlight runs. Uh, sorry for that if it, if you find it annoying. Um, but I just I just like ogres that much. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna just chain lightning again. Um, go D zero. With this character, if if I had taken a, a bit of time to grind with this character, I probably would have done or or run tomb, and it wouldn't have been very difficult. But uh, I'm okay with not doing that. You do crush an ogres pretty hard. They're so good. Like um, they're really really good. I I like them so much because they're very resistant to RNG. I don't like getting killed by RNG, and I feel like uh, like this the the more vulnerable to RNG a species is, the least I like it. Um, Deep elves get some resistance to RNG with um, the level 9 spells, you know? Like, you can just go Behumet on a deep elf, and if you survive the early game, you will have the damage output to just win the game. Uh, you will be doing pretty much the same that I'm doing right now. Um, so, yeah. That's why I like deep elves, even if they are not, like, the paragon of tankiness um, that a nogger would sometimes be. This one is not really so tanky because the defenses you know when have you seen a character with 990 defenses do sot 5 i guess you just saw it <laughs> yeah having high hp is a pretty good thing in this game but whenever i play an ogre I'm, uh, they usually do sot with this low amount of hp uh or with this low, low amount of defenses gappy resistant to electricity Torment, uh, that's a danger sim sign. Yeah, danger, danger. And we have blinking, so we don't have to fight Gappy. Nor Gappy centers, which included, a which included a Lich. Normal Liches are not that dangerous, but Dread Liches certainly are. Um, goodbye. Hmm. Miscast Chain Lightning. One more miscast for um, for the Wrath. Come on. Okay, there we go. First game and first win of 0 0.29. Um, oh, this is the command. Yeah. This is Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup 0 0.29. First game, first win of the 0 0.29 version of the game. Um, very satisfied with how this character went. Um, I was using a vast array of spells before I got Chain Lightning. Before I got influenced by Syndragor into just getting Chain Lightning. Um, I was going to win the game with Orb of Destruction and I was going to be a tankier character. There was maybe an alternate reality where I was going to go hard on. Well, not go hard, but like get the staff usable, um, get more evocations, being less trouble against ghost mods. Um, but I didn't do it. I think the highlight of this character was that um, early game um, treasure trove. Like I got it pre lair, I think. Maybe I, did, I got it pre lair. I'm not sure, but I got it on D10. There was a treasure trove that asked me to sacrifice all my piety. And it was super early in the game, so obviously I did it. Um, and I got crazy good things out of doing that. I got um, I got that cloak that I ended up not using it. Uh, like that Randar cloak. I got uh, the Hat of the Alchemist. I got um, just armor. But I got pretty good armor. Like the Hat of the Alchemist was the, the game winner here. Uh, the fact that I got the Hat of the Alchemist was massive. And then later on in Elf I got these gold scales. Um, which, on a very different version of my character, I would have been using those. But this character, well, this character is not going to use those. Um, first game in 0 0.29 and first win ever. Nice, first win ever. Congratulations on that. Um, well, let's just make it official with the character. You have escaped. 
And there you go. Behumet is pretty good. Uh, Chain Lightning is pretty good. And Nogger is pretty good. And also the Hat of the Alchemist is pretty good. Um, yep. Yeah. This character got pretty, pretty good loot. Um, very few loot or very few equipment slots because you don't have access to globes or boots. Um, and I was not really using a shield by the end. But uh, but the, the things that I got were really fantastic. Yeah, I won with minus six slaying. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, good stuff. Now, let us play some uh, launcher characters. Yeah, launcher character. 